with country superstar Justin Moore this evening talking about the ACM Awards, his new podcast, his music, of course. And Justin, thank you so much for being with us. And first of all, let's talk about your music. You just had another number one song with Why We Drink. Yeah, we did. We're, we're um, uh, that's our ninth, which is just kind of crazy to, to think about. Um, you know, I'm, I'm so appreciative of, of country radio for supporting us all this, all this time over the last golly 12, 13 years or whatever it's been. Um, it, it, it's wild though. I mean, you, you know, country radio as well as I do. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, we've never had a song run up the chart that we haven't been able to play live. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of wild to think about, you know, when we stopped, when we got shut down, it, the song was in like the thirties or something like that. So, um, it'll be interesting to go see really how it's connecting with, with the fans at whatever point we get to go play again. Yeah, a big part of what you do is put the music out and then support that with live shows. Were you kind of worried about how that would affect the new music? You know, yes and no. I mean, you know, this 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 window of time has, um, has brought up all kinds of concerns and worries um the only thing that i that i've not been concerned about or worried about is my relationship with again you know my, my friends at radio uh who have been so supportive over the years so you know um i it, that being said though it, it has been a strange uh time to, to say the least and and it raises all kinds of concerns and mostly uh, from a concern perspective, it, uh, my, my, my guys who work for me and have worked for me for, you know, 12, 13 years and, and their families and how they're doing. Uh, but, uh, never really worried me about, uh, my relationships at, at, at radio. Yeah. And your fans as well, but you found a way to still connect with your fans because you have started a podcast during the pandemic, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's kind of strange being on the other side of the microphone. You know, I'm used to being interviewed, not interviewing people. But uh, it's been fun. You know, we were just trying to uh, find any and every way that we could to stay connected to the fans. And I'm I'm admittedly pretty awful with social media. You know, uh, I think you and I are about the same age. I, I, we didn't grow up with Twitter. And, yeah, that's right. Facebook and all that kind of stuff. I, hell, I didn't even have a cell phone until I was 20, you know. So, um, but, uh, you know, the only long form kind of thing that we, we get to do is play shows. And when that went away, um, we just kind of filled that void uh, in a sense, if you will. And, and it's been a lot of fun. You know, I, it's it's allowed me to catch up with some buddies uh, in country music who I'm with, and um, keep up with my my tour manager, who's one of my best friends in the world. And um, it's been a lot of fun, and, and it seems like people are enjoying it. And if they continue to do so, that then we'll con continue to to put that content out. Yeah, it is definitely fun. Your tour manager, he's something else, huh? <laughs> he's a character. <laughs> yeah, and he's a character for sure. It, and he ain't really let loose yet. Like, we, <laughs> we, we've got all kinds of stuff on him. We, I told him uh, uh, recently that, that, you know, we, we have made a fool of me uh, until this point, but uh, we need to start doing the same to him because he's got, he's got way more stories than I've got. <laughs> Throwing it back on, on him. On That's right. When he, when he <laughs> puts that on you, you always defer to putting it back on them as quickly as you can. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Well, so as a touring musician that's usually on the road, I mean, how much are you actually on the road? I mean, it, you know, we know that you are touring a lot you're you're in the studio but i don't think the regular person like me we know exactly how much you're away from home so what is how much is that you know uh, a normal uh year we're, we're gone i play like 85 shows um which sounds like a lot but i remember playing 200 shows wow so 85 is <laughs> is nothing 
Um, but you know, if if you're going playing 85 shows, 90 shows, then then you're gone. You know, 150 days with travel days, etc. And so, um, you know, we're 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 certainly missing that for sure. And you know, it, it, I have four kids, um, and my wife and I and our family, we kind of have a, a certain rhythm to our our lives and certainly that's been interrupted with with all of this and um so i guess specifically to answer your question we're usually gone uh most weeks we're usually gone like friday saturday and then i'm back sunday morning and and then we do it all over again the next um but um obviously that's not been the case over the last seven months or so yeah i'm sure when you're on the road there are days that you think man i wish i could just spend an extended amount of time at home and now that you've had that how does it feel no doubt about it uh be careful what you wish for right <laughs> um yeah it's one of those things it's it's weird actually that i i just re-signed my record deal um right at the beginning of this whole thing which pretty much um ensured that I would be doing this in a decade or so and um, I, I had told my manager I said look my resign my deal I've never taken an extended uh, amount of time off you know maybe take six months off or something like that and um, yeah, we got it yeah. <laughs> wasn't really it wasn't really in the uh, in the uh, capacity in which I was, I was hoping it would be, but we certainly got it. And uh, I tell you what, I, I, you do get fatigued, and and, and you think, man, I'd, I'd like to be home uh, a little more and all that stuff. But th this time away from, uh, you know, the stage and being on the road is, has, uh, I guess shined a light on how much I, I love doing what I do and yeah. uh, it's probably been good for me in that so how do the kids feel having you at home so much oh they're sick of me <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know who's I don't know who's more ready for me to go back out on the road the kids or, or uh, my wife uh, they're I know they're all going when's that going back to work <laughs> um, but you know, it, it, it's been weird. It really has. You know, I've done this my entire adult life, and and uh, Kate and I have been together for, golly, 20 years or something like that. And it started as a long-distance relationship, and then and then when we did live together, uh, I did this for a living. So we've never been together uh, <laughs> this amount of time. Uh, fortunately, it's been you know we're better than we've ever been but at the same time it's it's certainly strange yeah I bet she, has she put you to work since you're around the house more oh yes <laughs> i've done more stuff uh in our house uh than than i've ever done you know I, from planting a garden to uh <laughs> you know building chicken coops and um golly, i've been on a tractor I, as soon as i get off off this with you to get on a tractor and used to being on a tractor was my zen place now it's just old I, I'm, I'm just like <laughs> crap i gotta i gotta get back to doing what i do you know yeah everything is nice in moderation for sure yeah no doubt no doubt <laughs> well let's talk about music you've had time to maybe think about your music maybe the direction of your music which i feel like is a great direction doesn't need to change whatsoever but you know, have, what's on the, the music front for you right now? You know, you, you touched on uh, Why We Drink, uh, just just having been our uh, big record for us. Uh, our next single will come from a new album um, uh, that'll be, I would assume, would come out next year sometime. Certainly, uh, we don't really have plans in place because of this stuff um uh, specific plans i should say um but uh single is is going to come out I, I think in two three weeks called we didn't have much and and 
I, I think it may be the best song that we've ever released and the most poignant for the time. Uh, the hook is, uh, we had it all when we didn't have much. And I think that's certainly uh, poignant to the time that we're, we're living in. I think that uh, throughout this whole window of time we've all been uh, living in, uh, we, some of us, I know for us at least, uh, we've gotten back to a more simple way uh, of living and relying on your neighbors. And, you know, my mom and dad live five, six hundred yards from me and we go barry flour and eggs and stuff from them and vice versa. And uh, like I said, we planted a garden and all that. And that song kind of just just talks about um, those kind of things and, and that type of lifestyle. Just a simpler life. Um, yeah, simpler life. Yeah, for sure. And and so, um, you know, to to uh, add on to that, uh, that that'll be the the first single from that album. And I'm really really proud of of what we have ready for for the entire album. Yeah. Uh, also. Yeah. Well, that's exciting to hear. I mean, you've had so many big hits and so many great songs. Um, you, just hearing you say that this will be one that you feel like this is one of your best, I can't wait to, to hear it. I think every artist says that <laughs> when they release a song, but, but <laughs> every I, song I is the best. Yeah, I genuinely mean that. I, I, I think it sounds like uh, nothing I've ever put out. It's, it's like a train beat kind of song, and it, it sounds like nothing on the radio, so hopefully people. Uh, dig it as much as I do. That's really exciting. Well, you've been to several award shows in your career. How do you feel about the way that the ACMs are this year? Usually it's in Las Vegas, it's in Nashville this year. They're doing the performances at different iconic venues across Nashville. So um, is that something that you feel like you look forward to seeing or just what, what are your thoughts on it? You know, I, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm not I'm not broken hearted over the fact that I did not have to fly to Las Vegas this year. <laughs> um, it's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's a that's a that's an annual thing that we we typically do. My wife loves it because <laughs> uh, she just goes and dresses up, and we go to nice dinners and all that stuff. And I I work the whole time we're there, so. Um, but you know, I, I think country music um, as a community, I, I think uh has done as good a job as as they could throughout this entire thing uh, and, and you know the award shows and stuff i know they've been challenging for the people who put them on and um you know i, I think they're going to do as as good as possible with, with these things as far as the production goes of you know the acms and and those types of it's 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 um we're obviously in unprecedented times and uh I, i'm thankful that i'm an artist and i don't have to uh put these things together uh because i know it's been unbelievably difficult for the people who do, who do it you know so uh but i expect it to be a, a great show as it always is um even in these times yeah it'll be great to just see country music represented uh in a live aspect of some sort on national television yeah 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 no doubt about it um you know we haven't we haven't had you know live music in golly seven months or something yeah. like that so uh i look forward to um you know we're not going to be there in person obviously but uh, it'll it'll feel a little more uh, that we get to watch it at least. Yeah, um, it's weird because the voting in some capacity. the voting actually closed for the ACM awards I guess six months ago. So kind of strange to to see some of the people that were nominated and not nominated. You know, because the last six months we've had so many other records that have been released. Um, of course, they just announced the the CMA award nominations, but yeah, it's it's kind of interesting to to see that. You know, you'd expect maybe Luke Holmes to have several more nominations for the ACMs, but I mean, this was six months ago. Right. Yeah. It, it's it, it's it's strange for sure. You know, and um, you know, I remember voting for them I think months ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
and, and so yeah it's it's um it's wild for sure like yeah. you said well how do you feel about like the voting aspect of it you know i mean for you as an artist someone that has I mean, just every record you put out, it's a number one song. You have so much success. I mean, what are your thoughts about who gets nominated and who doesn't? <laughs> I know, I'm trying to go there, but I'm, I'm letting you kind of answer it how you want. <laughs> um, I mean, look, I, I, early in my career, um, it really bothered me that I, I wasn't nominated and I wasn't asked to be a part of the the ACMs and the CMAs and all that, and for whatever reason, that's continued throughout my career. Um, I, I couldn't tell you why. Yeah. Um, I, I, I have a lot of friends in this business, and um, I don't know. Uh, but uh, I, I'm I, 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 the older I get, I guess, and the more that I've been around this business, I realize that. Uh, worry about what you can control and don't worry about what you can't control you know I, i've sold uh thanks to our fans five six million albums yeah. and i've had uh 20 top 15 records and um and i'm still doing a job that i absolutely am in love with you know uh working on you know a decade and a half now so those award shows uh they are what they are <laughs> and um you know if we win awards great we've won one acm and if we don't then that's great too so, yeah uh, it's great to see the show like but... i said like i said initially i'm not broken hearted over not having to go to the acms uh in vegas this year <laughs> so. yeah I mean, it is great. The shows are great, but definitely not representative of, of someone having a successful it's career. It's a popularity contest. Yeah. I mean, that's it, all it is. You know, yeah. I mean, it's just like high school. I mean, you know. You'd much rather put out quality songs and, and have that career than just, you know, be an ACM winner for a couple of years for sure. For sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, anytime. My career success is not. Uh, dependent upon how many awards I win, thankfully. Um, it's It depends on when I pull into, um, you know, somewhere in North Dakota or somewhere in North Carolina or somewhere in uh, Alabama or somewhere in New York, uh, if people are ready to see us walk out on that stage. And fortunately, that has never gone away for us. And that's that's the way that I kind of that's my barometer for for my career yeah well i know us arkansans are very proud of you um, we love the fact that you are so proud of being from the state of arkansas um, i think that that is amazing and and uh, you haven't forgotten your roots for sure so arkansans really appreciate well, that you. and are very proud to to have you representing us on a national or international stage well, thank you very much. It, it's um, and I, honestly, Ashley. I mean, you know, as I do, because you've been in in this industry for a long time. It, me moving back here probably didn't help me <laughs> in, in the uh, award show scene. But you know what? Um, being uh, saying you're proud to be from Arkansas is one thing, but moving back here uh, and being an Arkansan. Uh, is uh is another thing and 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 I'm, I'm very very proud to have grown up here and now be um a citizen uh once again here well we're glad that you and your family are here as well and justin thank you for taking time out of your day to to talk to us thank you i appreciate it ashley